So on a day-to-day -day basis I am planning projects, applying for funding to do the research that we need to do for our pest management in agriculture and uh, organising generally how, how we run our research. I'm working mainly on insect pests in wheat and uh, we have um, issues now that uh, with policy changes we have fewer pesticides to use in agriculture and this is coupled with people wanting a more sustainable agriculture so we're trying to find alternatives to pesticides looking for things like resistance traits in plants against insects and, uh, and promoting those uh, sustainable methods uh, for crop protection. I've been very happy to, to know that um, industry has taken up some of the work that I've done and are developing things for farmers uh, to use so that they don't have to use pesticides. And uh, also I really enjoy working with people from all over the world and bringing people together to do collaborative projects because science is very collaborative and uh, the problems that we are facing are, um, are universal, are, are uh, worldwide. I grew up on a farm and, uh, and I didn't want to go into farming but uh, I've always been interested in animal behaviour and, uh, and I started studying that thinking I would go and, and study um, lions and tigers or something exciting like that but, uh, but I realised that I'm uh, very keen to, to work in the agricultural sector so I've, I've, I've come back almost full circle and, uh, and found my niece looking at uh, insect behaviour in agricultural systems. I think just go for it. If you, if you are curiosity driven, uh, there's, there are so many different aspects to science and life sciences especially. And uh, it's, a great, it's a great job because you're always discovering something new. That, that's the aim of, uh, aim of the work. And you have very varied um, types of activities as well. So you don't get bored doing the same thing again and again. 